evening, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Mitchell, former Member of Parliament for the County of Northumberland, former owner of historic Bowbears Island, former Father of Confederation, Premier of New Brunswick, Minister of Fisheries, so on and so forth, here this evening to offer my heartfelt congratulations to the friends of Bowbears Island on their stunning 2017 season. This past year, Perhaps the most successful yet known in the history of the organization is a stunning tribute to this august body, its determined and varied membership, its skilled and talented employees, and the many friends and sponsors, associates, and partners that help make this year possible. And while it is true, ladies and gentlemen, that my story, he perhaps was elevated to the forefront this past year, being as it was the 150th anniversary of Canadian Confederation, I assure you that 17,000 people did not come to Bow Bears Island simply for Peter Mitchell alone, although 3,000 people did on the 31st of July in 1872. More about that if you visit Bow Bears Island next year. No, indeed, those 17,000 people came to hear the myriad of stories told here, the stories of our First Nations and their stewardship of the island. Kuomenigok, the island of the pines, for thousands of years as their sole guardian. And of the enterprising Acadians who joined them in the 17th century. And how those same Acadians returned in the 1750s much put upon refugees seeking asylum at the Camp of Hope and the great tragedy that occurred thereafter. The story of the shipwrights and the beautiful and stunning craft that they produced and sailed on the many world's oceans. And of the merriment and picnicking that occurred. Of the great natural beauty of Bow Bears Island and indeed her final owner and caretaker, J. Leonard O'Brien. Now, as this year draws to a close, I, for one, am very anxious, indeed very excited to see what this body will do in the future, what the friends of Bow Bears Island have in store in the years to come. As the island continues to grow and flower, un un revealing itself and the many facets of its diamond-like beauty, both historically, naturally, and any number of other leaves, for sure. Yes, indeed, I am more than happy once again to take my place among the pantheon of characters who daily throughout the season bring history alive on the island. I am very content once again to tell about how, for the 22 years I owned the island, I transformed it into a place of quiet repose, a place of escape from the hustle and bustle of the workday world, and how oh, I hosted any number of guests many of whom brought to me by my wife, the honest, sober, bone-dry Isabella Mitchell, and fetted them and fed them on the island throughout those many years. I will never cease to tell of the perfidy of Sir John A. MacDonald, but perhaps that's a video for another day, a yeah, far lengthier one of that. But as I say, I am very content once again to return to my own place, a place more suiting to my time on Bow Bears Island, my contributions not being not nearly as great as those of others. A place that, while perhaps more diminutive than the one I have enjoyed this year, is certainly one that will not be forgotten. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, I offer my congratulations, my best wishes for the future, and my never-failing encouragement to cast your lot with a man of action. A man who, though he may pull a cork a time or two, has never pulled the wool over the eyes of the electors of this county. My encouragement that you vote for Peter Mitchell. Thank you very much.